This question is from YouTube. A Polvik. Applevik. Apple VC. I don't know. You're buffering there, Eric. Spill it out. Um, can you talk about the different mills you use to source tartan fabric? What are the strengths of each manufacturer? What qualify, what qualities rather might make you lean toward a Lacaron fabric over a Martin Mills or a House of Edgar or a Strathmore for that matter? Sure. So I think you've answered this kind of thing before, but yeah, it's, we've, we've talked about the, the different mills and which ones we prefer. I'll, I'll bring in Mac for this one as well. Um, as he will regale us with his his kilt making preferences over and, and thoughts on each mill. Um, so let's start with, uh, what should we start with? Let's pick a mill. Martin Mills. Okay. Start there. Um, I like Martin Mills. They have the Teflon coating on the 16 ounce, which mm -hmm. is nice um, for sting resistance. I love, it's, it's nice sewing. There's not a lot of stretch to it. Correct. Um, it lays pretty flat pretty quickly for ironing. Oh, it ironing. gives up to, with an iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives up pretty easily. Um, the Strathmore cloth, a little bit lighter, typically th or 13 ounce usually, sometimes 11. Mm -hmm. It's a harder finish. Um, and, and we're talking degrees. We're not talking like, you know, crazy amounts. Mm -hmm. um, you know, irons pretty easily, pretty nicely. I'd say it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit more slicker. Yeah. Feel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe some issues with stock support. Mm, that's a whole <laughs> other... I won't get into it. Um, uh, I was the big but, guy there to yeah, take yeah, the material but, down. But the cloth is good. Um, the no, and In fairness, all the cloth is good. Um, mm. Lock Heron has the new um, Scottish initiative. So all their, mm -hmm. their... They have Scottish wool. So all the wool that they have for their strom, for their 16-ounce cloth, is all Scottish wool where it used to be New Zealand and Australia, like what most other mills get their get their material for, or get their yarn from or their, their wool from. Um, the Scottish wool is a little bit coarser. Yes. A touch. Um, how does it iron compared to pre-Scottish wool? It's a, I'd iron? say a little bit tougher. Um, the old stuff, I mean, the old stuff is like Martin Mills. It gave up. Yeah, really it gets you scared. You, iron you weave mirror. an iron at it and it's like, ah, creased. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and and held a good edge. It still holds a good edge, um, yeah. but it's a little bit more tougher now. Yeah. Um, so, dog leash holds a nice edge. It's a nice hard cloth. Um, they don't really have any that many stock options, so we don't really get a lot from dog leash. Um, Batley's. It's a little. It's it's a nice smooth hard yes. finish. Um, a little bit more difficult to take a take a crease on. Mm -hmm. Um. Sometimes we have a little bit of an issue with matching up, you know, the top and bottom of the cloth. Yeah, for... both these last two, Batley and Dog Leash, can have a little bit of a bacon edge, if you want to call it that. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Just yeah. it just the t way they use their tender hooks just don't. Yeah, the finishing process. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's more yeah, it's more on the finishing end than it is on the weaving end of it. Yeah, um, House of Edgar's cloth is the last one. Um, they're you have a ton of options in thirteen ounce, mm -hmm. some options in sixteen, less less yarn color options in 16 um but their their cloth very nice very hard finish um a little bit more difficult to iron but once you get it in it's good i would say that's the hard one of the, the hardest one to iron um, yeah just to get that edge you got to beat it into submission yes yeah. <laughs> um but yeah if, as long as you get a little bit of pressure mm -hmm. behind it you're good to go yeah but all of them are all of them have pluses and minuses like there there's no one this is the perfect one. Never had a problem. Only buy from this mill. Um, they all have pluses and minuses. Um, we haven't even talked about, you know, stock support options. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, House of Edgar in 13 ounce, crazy number of tartans. La Karen in 16 ounce, crazy number of tartans. We like Martin Mills cloth, but there's less There's less options for, you know, you know, there's only like three options or four options for Gordon versus, you know, 10 from House of Edgar. So everyone has their own pluses and minuses. Yeah, and I'd say we have certain customers who who like are very in some ways very brand loyal to different tartans or different mills. Like they're they well I know people that they only get their cloth from this mill and that's it. They don't look at anybody else. Yeah. I mean I I personally like Martin Mills just on the fact that the, the ironing ability does hold a good edge. I mean that's what I use when I'm 
off in France fighting fighting the Kaiser. But I like House Edgar's color palette. I like their color choices better. So it's like I will go back and forth between those two a lot just on the, on those aspects alone. But we do have customers that are that like, nope, Lock Heron's all I look at. You see, that's, you see, that's what I'm wondering. Is it, it, how many of them are basing that on the feel of the fabric versus the color palette? I would I would want to think that it's usually because they, they like the color palette that the mill tends to lean towards more than anything else. That that's really the main factor in their mind. Yes, no, and kind of. Okay. If well, they're no, 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 because no, you're no, no, not never mind. You're right. Um, if you're buying online, color palette, because most yeah. people don't order a swatch, so they're buying online based on the looks. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're buying based, if they're loyal to Lock Heron, which I've noticed a good number. I'm pointing at Mac, not the camera, mm-hmm. oh, but okay. yes, um, I've noticed most people who are loyal to a brand tend to be loyal to Lock Heron. So. Mm-hmm. Now, if they're loyal to a brand, typically it's because I already own a kilt or two kilts in this That's particular kind of what I was one. Thinking. Yeah. And now with Lock Karen changing where they're getting their yarn from and their wool from, and they're moving to something a little bit more scratchy, I am a little bit. Um, it's not quite as soft. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm curious if those same people still remain loyal to Lock Karen, or if they say, "This feels a little bit different now. I want to go to someone else," um, or are they just, are they all in for the, no, it's Scottish wool. This makes it even better. I'm even more loyal because hmm. they're buying Scottish wool, you know, Scottish dyed, Scottish woven or Scottish spun, Scottish woven, Scottish everything. Um, hmm. Is so, the word out enough for that to happen? They're trying to push it. Yeah. Um, I mean, so Lock Karen's- whole mark, The whole marketing campaign yeah, okay. around it. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know what they, how good their marketing campaign is, mm-hmm. but it's they've they've tried to promote it. So okay. it's that remains to be seen for me. Mm-hmm. Now, would the other way to look at it be okay? So I have, I have an ancient kilt from Lock Heron. All my accessories are that 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 match that. I know that these accessories match this ancient. So if I get another ancient from this from a yeah. mill, a I'm gonna look at Lock Heron because. Yeah. I already have stuff that matches. Yep. So it yep. could be along those lines too. I I think that's probably a lot of it, honestly. It's a safety safety thing. Yeah. You're spending a lot of money. You don't want to wind up. Yeah. Because you know, I mean, the ancients can vary. The ancients vary a lot from mill to mill. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, moderns I think a little less. Yeah, moderns, as much. But yeah. it's it's the the ancients, the weathereds. The, it's the once you break away from that, that's where you see the the big color differences. Mm-hmm. Ancients vary from House of Edgar to everyone else, I agree. Yes. Um, but Strathmore versus House of Edgar, or Strathmore versus Martin Mills versus Lock Heron, the Ancients are pretty consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, weathered is the interesting one. If I have a weathered tartan kilt and I went, you know, that, that particular brown tweed vest matches my weathereds, therefore, you know, I want to get another weathered so it looks like that, then yeah, you're probably going to be either brand loyal to Lock Heron or pigeonhole yourself into just weathered tartans to match that particular tweed. Or you just love weathered color palette. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Interesting. No, it's there it's it's kind of very much to me, um, you know, what child do you love the most? What's your favorite <laughs> child? It's I, I like all of them for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Um I might have one that I prefer over another, but I'm not gonna tell the kids. <laughs> Maybe we get a better price from one of the mills. <laughs> uh, um but no, it's they're they're all they all have pluses they all have minuses um none of them I'll, I'll say this none of them that we have on the website make a bad kilt if it did we wouldn't offer have it on, on the, the website, website. <laughs> yeah exactly because ultimately the vast majority of people aren't that in the weeds they're not this nerdy <laughs> about this stuff that we are that you are um so most of them won't care it's their most people you know, are focusing on what the tartan is first, then maybe the color palette, then maybe the mill um, as as far as brand loyalty. But ultimately, when it goes out the door, it has our name on it. So we're making sure that if it has our name on it, that the fabric itself is fine, no matter what the mill. Indeed. So I'm curious, do you have a preferred mill or what are the most important things that you look for when you're buying a kilt. Is it the color palette? Is it the way the material feels? Is it 
the favorite guild maker. <laughs> Just kidding. Let us know in the comments below what is your preferred mill or what is the thing that you are find most important when you're looking for a kill.